Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have a pair of truly wireless headphones from Dayacom. These are the K6H Pros, and they feature six hours of battery life and the ability to recharge them 12 times with the case alone. They also are advertised as having a noise canceling mic, so it should be really high quality when you're on phone calls, things like that. And all that for a price of less than $30 on Amazon. So check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open them up and check them out. All right, this just slides right off. And real quick while I'm getting these open, just want to thank Dayacom for sending me these headphones to test. Thank you very much. So it looks like they have the earbuds just sitting out very tiny, very cool looking as well. Go ahead and get those out of the box. So here we have an owner's manual, some extra earbud fittings for the tip of the earbuds. And then we have the charging case right here. As you can see, it's a really cool design with a nice clear lid. So you can see them inside the actual charging case. One thing that makes this case unique is it has its own charging cable actually on it. So you just unravel that and then you have a standard USB connector that you can plug into your computer, a power bank or a wall adapter, and that'll power the case. And then the case then powers and charges the actual earbuds here. So let's go ahead and get the earbuds out of this box. As you can see, they are very small. You do have a nice Daycom logo on there with a button. And I like that the button has a different texture than the actual earbud. It just kind of looks cool. And then you have a little hole right there that might be an LED or a microphone hole. On the back, you have an indicator for left or right, and then you also have the two charging ports. And those two charging ports line up with prongs located in the actual charging case right there. So you would simply just drop the earbud in and then it would begin charging. So now I have them both in and you can see that that is actually a red LED and it indicates that it is charging. The earbuds use a magnet to be secured in the case, so it makes it really easy to actually get it in there. You kind of drop it and then it will just pull it into the correct location. And then the red LED indicator lets you know that it actually is charging. So very cool there and very easy. The plastic on the case is pretty lightweight and it feels pretty sturdy. So I think this will last a long time. Definitely very protective. There's some ink on the bottom with some information about the battery in here. As you can see, it is a 1,100 milliamp hour battery, but and it looks like that ink is already kind of wiping away. So that might not be the best quality. The cable here does seem very fragile. So you'd want to keep this tucked away and wrapped around the actual case so that it's nice and protected. But as you can see, when you do have it raveled around the case, it is pretty protected and it actually looks pretty cool. Now, like I said here, these do have a multifunctional button on them right here. So you use this button to control the earbuds to pause or play audio when you're listening to music or podcast. You can also answer and hang up on calls. Those are all with doing a single short press on the button. And then it even has the ability to redial numbers by doing a double tap, which is pretty interesting. I've never seen that with a pair of earbuds. And unfortunately you do not have the ability to control the track or change the volume from the earbuds using the multifunctional button. So that's a little bit of a lack in functionality, but you do gain the ability to redial numbers from the earbud if that is useful to you. Now the earbud fitting right here just comes off very easily. As you can see this little lip right here, that's where it's gonna kinda just snug right over that and then you can put it right back on. So with those extra earbud fittings right here, you can easily change those out. They are different sizes, so if you need bigger ones to make them more secure in your ear, you can definitely find those in the bag. The earbuds are completely made out of plastic and that makes them extremely light. So hopefully that makes them more comfortable when wearing them. So now that we've taken a closer look at the Daycom K6H Pro Truly Wireless Earbuds, let's go ahead and get them turned on and then paired with my phone. So to put them in pairing mode, I simply need to remove them from their charging case. And I can see that the LED on the left earbud right here is blinking red and blue. So that should mean that it's in pairing mode. I'll look on my phone right now. They come up on my phone as Bluetooth 6P TWS and we're connected. As you can see, they came fully charged. All right, so after having had some time to test out the Daycom K6H Pros, I have to say overall, they're not that bad. From an audio quality standpoint, the bass is very lacking, so you don't get much bass through the headphones, but the highs and the mids come through very clear and crisp with no tinniness at all. They also get very loud, and like I said, the audio is clear, so it does sound pretty good, but there's gonna be a lack of bass. It's almost as if there's almost no bass at all, which is somewhat expected from tiny earbuds like this, but I would expect a little bit more than there is. Now, when it comes to listening to YouTube on your computer or your cell phone, there's no issues with 
with audio syncing on these. So you're not gonna have any Bluetooth issues with delay in audio, so it won't look like you're watching a dubbed video. They are very comfortable. Like I said, they're very lightweight and very small. So they fit in your ear and they just stay there and you can wear them for a very long period of time without any discomfort in your ear canal at all. So very surprised there. They're also very easy to pair with your phone or computer. All you need to do is take them out of the case. They connect with each other very quickly and then they go into pairing mode automatically and they come up on your phone very quickly. So no issues there. Now, when you're using these to place calls, I found that the microphone on them was actually really high quality. You could easily understand what I was saying. There was no issues there as well. And also you can easily hear what the person you're talking to is saying because it sounds very good through the headphones. So really happy with the call quality on these. Now, some of the functionality was also very strange with these. The button, while you can pause and play music and answer and hang up on calls, you are limited with functionality. You have no way to control the volume, no way to control the track. And if say you're listening to music and you accidentally double tap the button, it's going to just redial the number on your phone that you previously called. So I found that to be a little bit of an issue because I did randomly call someone by accident with these. So I'm not sure why they have that functionality. I do like the case, it is protective. I like that you can see through it so you can see if they're charging. You can also see if they're in there. And the included cable is pretty cool, but I am worried about the longevity of that. It is a cheap feeling cable, so I'm not sure how long that'll last. Another thing I did like was the battery life. You do get six hours out of the earbuds and I tested that, it does seem to be accurate, but you can also charge them 12 times using the case. So if you're on the go, you get almost 72 hours of battery life from the earbuds if you recharge them using the case before you to plug the case in. So that's pretty awesome and it makes it great for traveling or just using throughout a week. Really like that and that is pretty unique to this product. Usually you do get a lot of time from charging with the case but 72 hours is a lot and I haven't seen that amount of battery life out of any other TWS headphones out there. Now connectivity between the earbuds I also found to be good. I had no issues with them disconnecting or interference between them so they worked great from that standpoint. Overall, as long as you know going into it that these do not have that much bass and that the functionality on the buttons is lacking, I would recommend them for a price of less than $40. They sound good and they do place calls very well. If you have any questions about the Dayacom K6H Pros, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find these exact earbuds on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.